Hello, it is, well, it's a couple of hours after full time now. I'm back home after Arsenal 5, Nottingham Forest nil. The cup competition so far this season providing an awful lot of entertainment, an awful lot of fun. This was a really positive night for Arsenal. Um, you know, a couple of debutantes, Gabriel Martinelli, Kieran Tierney, both impressing. Some returns from long-term injuries, uh, Rob Holding, uh, Hector Bellerin, of course. Uh, and five goals and really you know fantastic performance all in all uh, I suppose the best thing we can do really is go through the team almost player by player I'll start with Emi Martinez who wasn't hugely tested in the game I can't think of a difficult save he made but he emanates that calm uh, he just seems like a very mature goalkeeper these days I think he only made one save I've just checked the stats but I think a lot to like about what he's bringing to the side at the moment in these cup contests uh, right back we start with Callum Chambers well I think Chambers is probably the big story of the game I mean I made him man of the match personally and this was in a game where there was plenty of competition he started at right back he finished it at left back he got an assist from either position he just looked um, head and shoulders above some players out there technically accomplished his volleyed cross for Martinelli's opening goal was outstanding uh, strong he looked very strong he looked huge as well uh, he just looks like a, a man, I guess, a bit like Martinez. He looks like he's returned from his loan spell, more mature physically and I think mentally. Um, he took on some leadership qualities tonight. And yeah, playing out of position in two different positions was really excellent. I think he's doing enough to, to earn a shot in one of his preferred positions, be that centre-half or be that central midfield. He looked like a man with a point to prove tonight and I think he made his point pretty emphatically. Left back Kieran Tierney, um, a really encouraging debut. Uh, I've written about it at length for the Athletic. That'll be out tomorrow morning. But very good driving forward, getting to the byline, shifting his weight, finding the space, dangerous crosses, and he didn't leave space behind him either. You know, he could be attacking without adopting a, a cavalier, unnecessarily risky uh, starting position. He's a clear uh, back four left back. He looked very comfortable in that system. I don't think you can say the same for Ser Klasnach. And I think, you know, given that he played the best part of 80 minutes tonight and he's not been out, you know, too long. It's not like Hector Bellerin where he's missed sort of nine months of football. I think he's got to be in contention for Old Trafford now, Kieran Tierney. Um, who knows, maybe uh, he'll even play a bit more part for the under-23s later this week. Nah, that seems crazy, actually. Forget I said that. Centre-half, Rob Holding. Well, look another relatively comfortable performance but once he took that cup since captain's armband came to life um, headed home straight away he'll just be so delighted to be back out on the pitch uh, in fact I know he was and uh, yeah look he looked classy it'll be interesting to see how he copes in a back four it, when he gets more game time a lot of his best performances for Arsenal have come in a back three both under Arsenal Wenger and Unai Emery so that's something to watch there maybe and he was alongside Mustafi, who was solid. Look, credit to Mustafi. You know, he was almost out of the club this summer. He clung on to his place in the squad. But on his two appearances so far, he's been passable. He's been decent. And it's probably more than could be said for the, some of the defenders ahead of him in the pecking order. So, fair play. In midfield, Lucas Torreira was alongside Joe Willock. Uh, Torreira was busy, as you'd expect didn't provide the kind of screening effect you would necessarily anticipate I think he was still under instruction to get forward when he could, Joe Willock did get forward, got his goal, that's what Joe Willock does, he should have had another with a header he gets in the box, he gets into great positions, he shares that trait with Aaron Ramsey, I've got to say I really like him, on the right wing Emil Smith Rowe, very tidy but can't get a break really, always seems to be getting injured concussed it looked like tonight uh, went off in the first half, Meza Ozil I mean, I, you know, what can you say? <laughs> I sort of run out of things to say about Mazzotto. It's kind of crazy that a player of that calibre is playing this game anyway. What a fall from grace. Um, clearly unhappy to be substituted. Was pretty decent on the ball, but equally didn't sort of light this game up in the manner you might expect for a, a player of that calibre playing against championship opposition. Uh, on the left, Reese Nelson, I thought had a good game. Got a goal as well. He probably needed that. Um especially given the progress Bukayo Saka's made. Saka came on and looked busy, but not quite as effective as he did against Freiburg. Up front, Martinelli 
worked really hard, tirelessly. I sort of couldn't believe he got through the 90 minutes. He looked knackered with it about an hour gone, and understandably so. He pressed, he harried, but look, he got his reward. He scored a fantastic header. Uh, the way it flew in the top corner, I sort of wondered if it slightly cut off his shoulder, but clean contact, getting between the centre-halves. And he got a bit of luck late on when his effort deflected into the net, but good work from him beforehand, You know, receiving the ball, turning, finding the space. I thought he did well as a centre-forward in pre-season. I know he's played the majority of his football on the wing today, and he looked good as a centre-forward today. Um, he's a versatile forward, but I think he is an option through the middle. And, uh, yeah, I mean, look, we need them at the moment with Lacazette out and Aubameyang really under a lot of strain, playing a lot of games. So even if he's just an option off the bench, you know, it's nice to have him there. Who else came on? Hector Bellerin. Wow, what a reception uh, as Tierney came off and Bellerin came on. Standing ovation sort of for the pair of them. And he got an assist almost immediately within seconds squaring for, for Willock to score. Uh, it's great to have Tierney and Bellerin back. It's great to have Rob Holding back. And you do wonder with Callum Chambers in there, there is kind of an alternative back four potentially there for the taking. Um, if you know Emery wants to go with it. But yeah, really positive night for Arsenal. And a bit of a break now before United on Monday. And what a big game that'll be for both teams. But I'll leave it there for now. Good night. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.